Hey there, Eric from LED Grow Lights Depot again. Horticulture Lighting Group released the HLG 550 V2 in May of 2018, and we got our hands on one to test for you guys. The HLG 550 V2 is an efficiency upgrade from the HLG 550 V1. The main differences between the two versions that you guys need to know is that the V2 contains Samsung LM301B diodes, while the V1 uses LM561C diodes. Overall, the V2 draws around 30 fewer watts and exudes more light, bringing this fixture from 2.3 micromoles per joule to a whopping 2.5 micromoles per joule. Wow. Let's dig in some more. So the first thing that we notice is that there's a sturdy foam insert surrounding the light, and the light is protected with some plastic. The light comes with four free hangers and a mammoth P sample, so while supplies last on that mammoth P sample. So this is a brochure for Mammoth P, as well as a feeding schedule. And there's a Mammoth P. All right, let's get this unwrapped. So that box that you just saw there is not the box that this light is shipped in. It's actually shipped in a plain brown box. So it's shipped discreetly. There's no markings that's saying that it's an HLG light. Uh, so no worries there. All right, and here's the quantum boards. Sweet. Let me tell you more about this light. The HLG 550 V2 is Horticulture Lighting Group's flagship LED grow light. It is designed to be used in grows requiring high intensity lighting. The fixture measures 26 inches by 20 inches by three inches, and it weighs about 18 pounds. A large mean well HLG 480H C2100A driver sits on top of the light and powers the quantum boards on the bottom of the fixture. The rest of the unit is a thick aluminum heat sink. The power cord and plug is available in 120 volt and 240 volt US. Plugs are also available for 220 UK, European, or Australian outlets. The HLG 550 V2 is designed to replace a 1000 watt single ended metal halide or HPS grow light. Besides the change from the LM561C to LM301B diodes, the other difference between the V1 and V2 fixture is a lower power draw. The V2 draws around 480 watts at the wall as opposed to the V1 which drew about 510 watts at the wall. That's about 6% fewer watts with about 2% higher light output. Or another way to look at this is that there's about a 9% increase in PAR efficacy. There are 1,152 Samsung LM301B diodes across the entire fixture. The quantum boards are made by Samsung and each contain 288 diodes. The diodes are top flux bin and top voltage bin. The PAR efficacy of the unit is a staggering 2.5 micromoles per joule. So anything above 2.0 micromoles per joule is considered efficient and is almost standard for LED grow lights these days. So 2.5 micromoles per joule is really pushing the upper limits of white diode technology at this point in time. The PPF output of the lamp was measured by a third party laboratory to be around 1,178 micromoles per joule. And although plants don't care about lumens, we're gonna state it anyways. So lumen output for the HLG 550 V2 is 80,833 lumens. The HLG 550 V2 is rated for 110 volts to 240 volts AC. It draws about 480 watts at the wall, as I stated previously, and 4.1 amps at 120 volts, and around 2.0 amps at 240 volts. When the potentiometer is turned all the way down on the driver, the HLG 550 V2 draws around 190 watts and 1.6 amps. Now more on adjusting the light output of this fixture. You're gonna open this little rubber stopper on the rear of the driver and use a Phillips or flathead screwdriver in this case to turn the potentiometer inside the driver. You can see that the light is going up and down depending on which way I turn it and just note that the camera is adjusting for these light changes. So that's why it looks a little bit funny. 
And then when you're done, just put the rubber stopper back in. The fixture spectrum is full spectrum white with 3000K and 4000K options. 2700K and 5000K versions may be available on demand. 3000K is the most popular option and is ideal for a seedling to harvest growth. 4000K is best for veg, but can be used for seed to harvest growth as well. 3000K is best for larger yields, while 4000K is best for increasing quality. The white light spectrum allows a working environment where you're able to see the plant's natural colors. The spectrum contains a medium amount of blue, peaking at about 455 nanometers, but also has a large bump in orange-red, peaking at about 605 nanometers. The blue in the spectrum helps keep plants compact in the veg stage. There's a lot of green in the spectrum to help increase photosynthesis and canopy penetration. There's also some far red light, which combined with deep red light can help increase photosynthesis via the Emerson effect. There is no UV in the spectrum. The vegetative footprint for this light is a 6 foot by 6 foot area. The flower footprint is recommended for up to a 4.5 foot by 4.5 foot area. I would say that this fixture does a solid 4x4 area, but it could be used in up to a 5x5 foot space. The hanging distance for veg is about 36 inches, or you might consider hanging it closer and dimming down the light to around 50% intensity. The flower hanging height is recommended at around 24 inches. This is the best distance for the highest intensity while maximizing uniformity. Now I'm going to take some temperature gun readings across this fixture. So these diodes can take up to 85 degrees Celsius. Now notice that we're only at about 49, 50 degrees Celsius. So the fixture is gonna get a little bit warm on the back because it is the heat sink, but the diodes can take it. It's okay, it doesn't degrade the diode lifetime or anything like that. So I took these readings at about 60, 65 degrees ambient temperature. So your fixture may get a little bit warmer than this, which is okay. I tested the PPFD of this fixture in a 4 foot by 4 foot Gorilla Grow tent. As always, keep in mind that the reflective nature of this tent could increase PAR readings everywhere, especially in the corners and edges. So let's see those readings now. Our first reading is going to be at 36 inches, right around 600 PPFD. So 36 inches you can flower at, but I would recommend it for a veg height. So at this height, you're going to get the best uniformity because the light is far above the plants or the bottom of the tent in this case. So the light is spread out the most evenly across the grow area. So getting some pretty uniform numbers here. So about 500 on the edges, about 600 in the middle. So another way, as I mentioned before, you can veg with this light is by turning down the potentiometer to 50% intensity or even a little bit less and moving the fixture closer to your plants. So pretty happy with these numbers. And then the next reading is going to be at 24 inches. So just pushing 1000 ppfd. Now the uniformity is going to be decreased just by a little bit but we're getting some better numbers in here. So these are some numbers that you could definitely flower with, uh, especially directly under the fixture. Now on the edges, the intensity is gonna be a little bit lower. So notice these numbers are about half of what they are in the middle, but still really, really good. All right, almost a thousand right there in the middle. Now you can probably hit a thousand depending on uh, what sort of environment you're in, uh, whether it's more reflective or if you're using a different PAR meter. So this reading, or excuse me, this meter in this tent showing me about a thousand PPFD. And finally, the last reading is at 18 inches. Wow, look at that, 1400 PPFD. So that might be a little bit too close for flowering. And then as we go to the edge, drops to around 600. And in the corner, which is always the lowest, right around 400. So in this case, the uniformity is the lowest that it has been between the other distances. And the intensity might be a little bit too much for flowering. I probably wouldn't go over 1000 PPFD unless uh, you really know what you're doing 
and you know are using co2 in this case but once you get over a thousand you're really starting to push it and could potentially burn your plants in the rare case that you have a problem with your fixture, the Horticulture Lighting Group HLG 550 V2 comes with a three-year manufacturer's warranty. The fixture is assembled in the United States. The MSRP on the HLG 550 V2 is $1,049 with free shipping in the lower 48 states and no tax. So check out ledgrowlightsdepot.com for any discounts and the best price guaranteed for this fixture. If you want to learn more or purchase the HLG 550 V2 LED grow light, view the link in the description. And give this video a like and comment to let us know what you think about it. If you want more content like this, subscribe to us on YouTube or Vimeo. Happy grows!